Depending on your age, it may be hard to believe that Man City weren't always this rich and successful. There have been dark days for the blue side of Manchester, but that all changed in 2008 when they were taken over by Sheikh Mansour. Since then, City have had the finances to bring some of the best players in the world to Eastlands, such as Sergio Aguero, David Silva and Kevin De Bruyne. But how did City look before Mr Mansour took over? Let's look at Man City's last starting 11 in which they beat Sunderland 3-0 at the Stadium of Light before they were taken over by the Abu Dhabi United Group and where the players are now. In goal that day was Joe Hart and we all know where he is now. The England number one was shipped out on loan to Torino in the summer due to his inability to use his feet and replaced by Claudio Bravo who has an inability to keep the ball out of the net. You'll be hard pushed to find a Man City fan who doesn't wish Joe Hart was still the club's number one. In defence we have Vedran Chorluka. It was the Croatian's final game in Sky Blue, leaving the following day to join Tottenham Hotspur. Now aged 31, Chorluka is plying his trade in Russia with Lokomotiv Moscow. If only he'd hung around for one more day, he might have got a bump a new contract. Next we have Micka Richards, a man whose career looked so promising back in 2008, but has turned to mush in recent years. The homegrown defender played a big part in City winning the Premier League in 2012, but has since had a loan spell at Fiorentina and suffered relegation with Aston Villa. Quite the fall from grace. He was alongside Richard Dunn, the king of the own goal, but a loyal servant to Manchester City no less. Dunn would leave City in the summer with Julian Lescott and Colo Toure arriving. The Republic of Ireland International would join Aston Villa and then QBR before retiring in 2015 and is now reported to be living in Monte Carlo with his wife and kids. How nice. At left back that day was Michael Ball, no not the singer your mum listens to, the man who spent two years at City and also won an England cap back in 2001. Like Dunn, Ball was never going to fit in at City once all the top stars arrived and left in 2009. Retiring in 2012, Ball works in player recruitment and consultancy as well as writing a weekly column for the Liverpool Echo. In midfield we've got Stephen Ireland who's had more fake grandmother deaths than I've had hot dinners. The Irishman had the best season of his career when Sheikh Mansour took over and was named the club's player of the year despite the arrival of superstar Robinho. After moving to Aston Villa and spending a forgetful six months on loan at Newcastle, Ireland would move to Stoke where he still is surprisingly, recovering from a broken leg he suffered in May 2016. Next we have Diddy Haman. One of the more experienced players in this team, Haman would end his three year stay at City in 2009, moving to MK Dons. Retiring in 2011, the German would spend a very brief amount of time in management and is now regularly seen working as a pundit. Up next it's Michael Johnson. A career unfulfilled, Johnson was tipped for the top during the early stages of his career, with teammate Hamann comparing him to the German legend Michael Ballack. However, a string of injury problems, off-field issues and mental health struggles would see Johnson retire in his early 20s. In 2015, Johnson opened his own estate agent's business, moving out of the spotlight. Next it's the current Man City captain, Vincent Company. Yep, he was there before the Abu Dhabi money, and yes, he was playing in midfield. As we all know, Company would move into defence where he would develop into one of the top centre backs in world football and guide Man City to six trophies and would no doubt have won more if he hadn't been dogged by injury problems over the past few years. Out wide we've got Sean Wright Phillips. The little winger would score twice in the 3-0 win over Sunderland and would remain with City until QBR snapped him up in 2011. Wright Phillips would link up with brother Bradley in 2015 joining him at New York Red Bulls, but is now on loan at Phoenix Rising where he plays with Peter Ramage and Omar Bravo. And to make you feel old, Bradley's son DiMaggio Wright Phillips is already playing for the Man City Academy. And finally, up front that day was Joe. Signing for what was a club record £19 million at the time, the Brazilian would score just one league goal. Joe was briefly seen at the 2014 World Cup with Brazil, showing just how limited their striking options were and after a spell in the Chinese Super League with Jiangsu Suning, is back playing in Brazil with Corinthians. So that's where Man City's last 11 before Sheikh Mansour took over is now. Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.